Hi readers, how are you? I hope that everybody is okay. I wish I could be at school to see all of you right now, but right now uh, we just have to do it like this for a little bit. I thought I would pop in and share one of my new books with you that I had planned on reading to you this week. The name of the book is called Philippe and Claudette and it is written by Mark Teague. Now, if you were shopping in our library shelves, we would find this book in the red letter T section because Teague is the author's last name and it is a picture book. Many of you have probably already heard a story written by Mark Teague before because he has written many other stories. He has written another funny story called Jack and the Beanstalk and the French Fries and he has written a story called The Three Little Pigs and The Sky is Falling. He is also the illustrator of all of the How Do Dinosaurs book series that are written by Jane Yolen that you probably have looked at before. So let's get started. And here is another clue as to what I have been doing for the past week. Philippe and Claudette, written and illustrated by Mark Teague. On adoption day, all the pets at the animal shelter lined up for inspection. It is time, said Mrs. Barrett, the director, for us to look our best. Then one by one, they were adopted until only two pets remain, Philippe and Claudette. What will I do with you, Fred and Mrs. Barrett? Usually her pets were adopted quickly, but not these two. They had been at the shelter for ages. The problem, in Philippe's opinion, was Claudette. You will never be adopted, he told the dog, because you are constantly barking. What? Claudette barked. What? 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 To be fair, Claudette did not always bark. Sometimes she tore the stuffing out of her toys. Sometimes she ran in circles. Sometimes she bounced against the walls. She drove Philippe crazy. Please, he said, I am trying to think. He was trying to think about his future home. Perhaps it would be a beautiful country estate where he might lounge beside a pool, or perhaps maybe a penthouse apartment where he would eat sardines from a dainty bowl. Claudette belched and the dream faded. No, said Philippe when she brought him her ball. I will not throw your little ball. It is covered in spittle. Anyways, cats do not throw. More puppies came to the shelter, then more kittens. Soon it was adoption day again. Time to look our best, cried Mrs. Barrett. They did, and they were all adopted, all except Philippe and Claudette. What will I do with you two, worried Mrs. Barrett. Philippe thought she should worry about call Claudette. You will never be adopted, he said to the dog, because you snore when you are wide awake. Snork, snored Claudette, snork, snork, snork. To be fair, Claudette, Claudette did not always snore. Sometimes she dug holes in the yard. Sometimes she chased moss. Sometimes she rolled in the garbage. Now I remember my little Dixie used to roll in the garbage all the time. She drove Philippe mad. It would be difficult for either of them to be adopted. When Claudette made such a poor impression, she brought him a toy. No, I will not play tug of war, said Philippe. Cats do not tug. More kittens came to the shelter, then more puppies. Adoption day arrived again. Philippe groomed his fur and straightened his whiskers. Claudette wagged her tail. One by one, the pets were adopted. All except, you know it, Philippe and Claudette. Dear, dear, said Mrs. Barrett, what will I do with you two? It was clear to Philippe that Claudette was the problem. You will never be adopted, he said, as long as you have dried food stuck to your nose. Snork, said Claudette, looking up her nose. Snork, snork, snork. To be fair, Claudette did not always have dried food stuck to her nose. Sometimes she had branches stuck to her collar. Sometimes she had leaves stuck to her paws. And sometimes her whole body was covered with mud. She drove Philippe insane. What could he do with a dog like her? She wagged her tail, hopefully. No, I will not play hide and seek, said Philippe. I do not wish to be it anyways. Anyway, it is perfectly obvious where you are hiding. Another adoption day came and went. So did the puppies, so did the kittens. As usual, only Philippe and Claudette remained. 
Mrs. Barrett was closing the shelter when a gentleman arrived. I wish to adopt a pet, he said. Philippe sat straight up. We only have the two, said Mrs. Barrett. Philippe is quiet, but a bit grumpy. And the dog, asked the man. Claudette barks and chews and digs holes in the yard. Anything else? She runs in circles and rolls in garbage and snores when she is wide awake. Fine, said the gentleman. I will take her. And he did. Philippe was stunned. Who in their right mind would want to adopt Claudette? You miss her, don't you, said Mrs. Barrett. Certainly not, thought Philippe. He waited for the next adoption day. And he waited. And he waited. Time passed slowly. The animal shelter seemed very quiet. He stared at Claudette's toys and her ball and her empty bowl. I'm sure she's fine, said Mrs. Barrett. Philippe sighed. Adoption day came. The puppies went. So did the kittens. Philippe hid in the back room. After a while, Mrs. Barrett joined him. She was closing the shelter when the gentleman returned with Claudette. I am bringing her back, he said. She is not the dog that I thought she was. She doesn't play or chew or run in circles. She doesn't even bark. All she does is moop. As soon as he left, Claudette began to bark. She licked Mrs. Barrett. She chased Philippe around the room. What will I do with the two of you, said Mrs. Barrett. But really, it was obvious. She adopted them. For dinner, she fed them sardines in dainty bowls. Afterward, they played hide and seek. Philippe was happy to be it. And that is the story called Philippe and Claudette. Now, if you were all with me right now, I know all of you would have your hands in the air and you would be so happy to share all of your pet stories with me. If you have a pet story that you would like to share with Mrs. Davis, go ahead and make a little video on Seesaw and I will watch it or send me an email or type me something um, in your Google Docs. I can't wait to hear all of your pet stories and I soon will share my pet story with you. Again, this is Philippe and Claudette written and illustrated by Mark T. I hope you enjoyed the other book trailers that I included in this PowerPoint and I hope all of you are happy and reading. Bye-bye readers.